let me start from uh, a question that I feel in my mind uh, listening to the discussion. Uh, well, of course, we need, we need innovation to improve the quality of our life. But who is the mother of innovation? And what do we have to do to create the condition why she could be always pregnant? What is possible to create that condition? And uh, in my mind, I remember that probably we have two possible policies to support innovation. One is the traditional policy of the central state, of a strong national state, to invest money traditionally in the military field, in the military sector, uh, for a target decided by the government and uh, rich spending a lot of money and sometimes wasting a lot of money. Uh, for instance, when the US government decided to go to the moon, uh, a policy decided by the government and supported by the government. But we have another way, another road, another road to the valley in the history. For instance, well, what has been the mother of the innovation in Athens 2,500 years ago? Or in Florence 500 years ago? Or right now in, uh, in the Silicon Valley? Or in Seattle? I've been in Seattle last year. Why in some period in the history and in some specific places, in some cities, or probably better we have to, to say not just city, but regional uh, metro areas, global uh, city regions. Because when I've been in Seattle last year, I've not been just in the city of Seattle, in the center of Seattle. I've been in the, to visit the, the, the Amazon headquarters in the docks, in the ancient docks, uh, restoring the ancient docks in the city. But for instance, Microsoft headquarters in Edmond, that is not Seattle, is in the area of Seattle. Right? And the Silicon Valley is a regional area, not just a city. To avoid the risk that we are creating a, a crazy battle between cities and regions, that probably is the best mistakes we can, uh, we can run in, in, in discussing on, on these issues. Uh, why in some periods of the, of the history, some places have been able to uh, create excellency. Why? Because they were in condition to set up a milieu, an ecosystem, a lot of condition to empower the quality of their people. The problem of the cities is to empower the talents and the quality of their people because innovation comes from the people, not just from the cities. Yesterday we celebrate the uh, Lombardy Celebration Day, the official feast of Lombardy. And uh, I've been in, uh, yesterday night, uh, I've been in Mantova. Mantova is a fantastic uh, city full of wonderful buildings created by the Gonzaga families. And we were in a theater, uh, Bibiena Theater. And I discovered that in that theater, Mozart, at the age of 14, at the age of 14, play music in the theater. Well, the talent uh, was the talent of Mozart, not of the Mantua city, but Mozart came from Austria, and he went in Mantua to play music. Why? Because Mantua city created the theater, created the facility to express the talent. In my opinion, this is the future of uh, smart cities, and the reason why we need the Pact of Amsterdam. What's the next step, uh, Lambert? The next step is translate uh, the path of Amsterdam in a box tool, in, 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 in a lot of tools for the buyers, for the governors of the regions, to cr create condition to improve the quality of their citizens. And this is, in my idea, the sense of smartity. So let me just underline in, in, in one minute, five, five ideas. Uh, smart cities can drive Europe forward, boost economic growth, create jobs, improve citizen quality of life, but if they are able to 
include and integrate uh, the ability of the nice citizen. This is the first idea. Uh, so this is the reason why we need bottom-up policy. To empower the city, we need bottom-up policies, not top-down policies, as we have listened this morning in the first workshop. Second, we have to consolidate the transformation of an industry-based model to an innovation-driven, service-oriented economy. But to do it, we need more flexibility because the service-oriented economy changes day by day. So we cannot use rigid policies, hard policies. We need smart policies, flexible policies, changing tools. And so this is another idea for the future of the part of Amsterdam. Third, uh, cities and regions can be urban leading labs uh, where innovative ICT solution, uh, uh, smart solution can be concretely tested. So don't be afraid uh, about the mistakes, say before Bas Ferkek. We need an error and trial experience. And so we have to do a lot of mistakes. But probably this is the, 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 the unique way to innovation on a bottom-up policies. Uh, like the flowers uh, in the fields. Uh, we need a lot of flowers growing in the field. But uh, uh, this uh, politica dei cento fiori, we say in Italy, 100 flower policy uh, to support uh, the growth of 100 flowers uh, is the condition to get the best flower in the, in the field. And then, fourth, uh, city need to play a strong role in the cooperation between the different actors, uh, university, uh, companies, private sector. Uh, so we need absolutely, absolutely a mix of actors in these policies. It's not just a task of the mire. Smart city cannot be the uh, results of a brilliant mire uh, and, and, and nothing other. We need to a mix of protagonists made by university, companies, uh, citizens, and so on. And so, last, what we have to do, five and last, idea, what do we have to do as politicians? We have to work like a team. We have to uh, create an open field and play with the local authorities and society uh, and our community like a team. Supporting the ideas of the people, implementing a concrete idea of subsidiarity. This is the other face of Europe. This is the concrete uh, expression of subsidiarity, not just uh, a procedure, but a policy, bottom-up based, able to support the ideas and the quality of the real protagonists of our cities, that are the citizens, the companies, the people living there, respecting the DNA of every single city. We need a Europe of differences. We need a symphonic Europe, not just playing one single instrument. We need the ability to uh, support the differences to create the best possible Europe. Thank you.